Hey everybody, how's it going? This is um, Charlie Wilson again, aka Sinister Charlie. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I my voice is a little uh, roughed up here. Not because of the booze or the cigarettes. Sorry, but um, I was told maybe I should uh, go a little bit of a different route. Uh, the last, uh, my, culpable, my culpable degeneracy videos are not necessarily for the ASMR people, and I, I understand that. That's just for me. That's just so I don't get bored as fuck, honestly. Um, but, uh, I figure I should make something for the ASMR people, and I'm not really sure exactly what to talk about when I, because you know the ASMR people the unintentional ASMR channel do give me a shout out and uh, a lot of people like that so I gotta I gotta I gotta give the people what they want so people want me to do more like long form ASMR stuff apparently it helps a lot of people sleep and I get it I do it's just I really don't know what else to say. I've, I've pretty much told every single story I have uh, when I've, um, you know, I've, I've, you know I, I don't know what puts you more to sleep than telling a story about the post office for half an hour with a voice like mine. Um, but I guess we could try something. So I'll, uh, I'll regale you with my stories of absolute nonsense if you'd like if this helps you sleep and I'm sorry I, I know I I should be um, more monotone uh, or not monotone but because um, I already am but uh, more I don't know what the what word I'm looking for less like uh, abrasive with with if I'm gonna do some ASMR videos uh, I would uh, I mean, I really don't have any other stories. I mean, uh, I could tell you other stories, but they're not, like, really relaxing. Um, I could tell you the story about the time me and my friends, uh, first time I ever went overseas to Greece, and we almost got stabbed. But uh, that's not a very fun or relaxing story. But I could try. Let's go with that. Uh, so, let's go with that. Uh, me and my friends, uh, it was the first time I, I ever went out, out in the town in, uh, Hanya, in, uh, Suda Bay, Crete, Greece. Uh, well, it's not Suda Bay, it's like a, it, it was in Hanya. That's how you have to say that. So, we were in Hanya, in Greece. Uh, on the island of Crete, the big island. Uh, we went out that night. And uh, we spent all night in this place called uh, American Alley, which is where all the military people go. They actually, uh, the military recommends that you go to American Alley and don't venture off into other places in Hania, because uh, this was in back in, I believe it was 2006, possibly. It was 2006. Um, yeah, and uh, the Greeks. Uh, and most of Europe hated America at the time, and they still do, but who cares? But, uh, you know, George Bush just got, George W. Bush just got reelected, and they were calling all of us Nazis. So that was a lot of fun. Anyway, we were in uh, American Alley, and they've got all these bars, you know, you can drink your ass off and have a good time with a bunch of other Americans and American like people. Uh, so you're you know, drinking constantly. There's a little gyro shop there. Uh, by the way, the gyros in Greece. Oh my God, I miss those gyros. Those gyros. Uh, so we're drinking and having fun, eating gyros. I, I don't think this is going to be very ASM ASMR-like or like it's not going to probably be good. But anyway, we're down there drinking all night. It's probably like 2 in the morning, maybe 3 in the morning. I, actually, I wasn't even drinking that night. I was the sober person because uh, uh, there has to be at least one person who is sober. That was per our command. One person had to be sober. So I was sober and uh, 
pr- I was pretty sober. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty sober. And uh, so um, we're it's like and nobody's there at this bar, and it's just pretty much um, me, two other American uh, CBs, Navy guys, uh, and uh, like a bunch of Albanians. And these Albanians were like going shot for shot with my one friend who was uh, from New York, uh, from Buffalo to be specific, to be pup specific, to be specific. He was from uh, Buffalo, New York. Uh, he had the whole regalia too. He had the uh, New York Giants hat and a New York Mets jacket on. <laughs> it's like, that didn't, this color schemes don't even work very well. So he's drink. He's taking, going shot with vodka, shot for shot with these Albanians, and then eventually, uh, we have to go. We have to leave. It's like a Friday night. We don't have to, but we did anyway. I think I think there might have been a curfew. I can't remember, but we were like, "Hey, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go." Uh, so this guy, Mike Barry, uh, fuck. Oh, well, his name, Mike Barry, doesn't give a shit anyway. And then another guy named Mike. I just wanted to make that distinction that they're both named Mike. I'm Charlie, and I'm like, uh, all right, let's go. And I'm the soberest person there. And I'm like, come on, guys, let's, we get, we got to get back to base. So we're walking back, trying to get, get to the taxi stand. And uh, at the at the time, I don't know how it is now, but at the time, this is when the euro was actually worth more than the dollar. Um, it was about, it was worth about a buck fifty. And, uh, I think that made the Greeks really like, uh, I don't know, thumb their noses at us, maybe. Also the George W. Bush thing. I don't know. And, uh, at the time the Communist Party was a big thing in Greece. I don't know if it still is now as well. Uh, it was like 40% of the population voted for the Communist Party. So, uh, these, these guys, these younger than us and I was um 20 wait how old was I at the time yeah I was 21 at the time they surround these teenagers surround us on their um uh, red mopeds uh all of them red by the way which makes you understand I think these guys might be part of the uh, KKE as they were called the I, I don't know what this stands for I don't speak Greek but that was the communist party like five of them surrounded us with their girlfriends on on the back of their mopeds, and uh, then they yelled, "Hey, Malaka!" Or at least one of them did. And uh, my friend, wearing all New York stuff, I was about to take a drink. Uh, you know, I'm not even sure if I've told this story before on this channel. If I have, I apologize, but it's going out there. Uh. <laughs> Yells Malaka, and uh, my friend with the New York Giants cap, New York Mets jacket on, goes up like two inches from his face and yells, or doesn't yell, but he says, "What?" Uh, and then I look down, and the guy starts reaching for his knife. I see a pocket knife, and I'm like, "Ah, hey, hey guys!" and uh, I pull him back immediately by this by his by his uh, collar. <laughs> like, hey man, we don't want to in trouble, man. Hey, relax, we're we're good. You guys are right. Uh, we're a bunch of malakas. We're a bunch of American pig dogs. We we should just go. I mean, come on. What what kind of world is this? Oh, and that's a spider, by the way. Bam, got him. All right, with my finger too. I ain't a pussy. Oh, well, he's he's on the ground now. But that that there was a spider on my wall. Totally, that was a big one too. I, man, I'm really cool when I'm drunk. Anyway, um, this, uh, yeah, I, I was pulling him back on. Hey, come on, man, we're we're a bunch of American stupid assholes. Uh, George W. Bush, I mean, pff, total Nazi, am I right? Uh, yeah. So that happened, and uh, I, and we were able to back off. So that's not even the worst part of the story. That's not even the bad part. The bad part is we go to the taxi stand. We get a taxi. Uh, and you have to remember, no Ubers. This is 2000 and 
six. Did I say six? Yeah, two thousand six. Two thousand six in Hania, Greece. Uh, big island. I've said that before. And we get into the cab. Uh, I am in the front seat. I'm in the front. Uh, both of my friends are in the back. Uh, Mike and Mike. It's, I'm, they're both named Mike. Mike and Mike. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're driving down the road. It's a really long way to get back to base. It's like 20 minutes to get back there from Hania. Yeah, it's 15, 20 minutes, depending on who's driving. Because uh, they don't really pay attention to road signs. So we're getting there. We're driving back. And then uh, this guy's been taking shots with Albanians all night. There's tons of vodka shots. And all of a sudden, he he kind of comes out of it. He, all night, he's like, uh, uh, and he comes out of it. He's like, uh, uh, I think I'm going to hurl. Huh? I think I'm going to hurl. Oh, no. So... We're, he reaches he's, he reaches to me and he goes, come on, man, hold my hand. Hold my hand. I'm like, I don't really want to hold your hand. I want to hold your So I'm holding his hand. <laughs> come on, dude. We got, we're almost there. It's like five minutes, dude. You just got to hang in there, dude. Hang in there. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Please just hang in there. And just all of a sudden, just you hear, let's go of my hand. And then you just hear. <laughs> whatever the sound of puking um, into your hands are. Um, and then the taxi driver looks behind us and goes, no, in his stupid Greek language. And he pulls us out of the road and then he starts throwing my friend out. And I'm like, dude, hey, I'm, so I'm sorry. Just let him puke on the side of the road. I'll pay for it. We'll bo Actually, all of us will pay for it, dude. I, I promise you. We'll and we both ended up giving uh, that guy like, Probably more than a hundred euro, I believe. I, I don't know. It was a long time ago, but I think it was more than a hundred euros. Um, uh, and then uh, eventually, uh, it's just to help him clean out his car. Because uh, by the way, and and the, most of those guys drive BMWs and stuff like that. And most of those cab drivers back then were before the uh, financial collapse and everything. This is before 2008. Oh. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I, I was just really trying to come up with a story for... Um, everything was good, by the way. Um, you know, um, that guy's an officer now, the guy who puked. He's an officer. Um, he was enlisted at the time, but he had a degree. I don't know why he went as enlisted, but eventually he went into OCS in the Navy. Uh, oh, I Now I remember his name. I don't know if I want to me mention his name or not, and if he'd like it, if I did. But his name is Mike. Let's just go with Mike. Uh, but I do know his name. I don't, I don't, I don't think I should. Um, yeah, but it, it was a pretty fun, it's a fun story. Um, yeah, but the, the ASMR people, if, if, I mean, I know you guys don't like the reaction stuff I do just because it's like, this is an ASMR. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But I, I do the, I, I watch stupid videos online for funsies and I, you know, re I talk about the news for funsies. It's, it has nothing to do with you guys. So, yeah, if you guys um, want to hear more maybe of these stories, possibly, I don't know. And I'm not sure how long this video should be. I just, I, I like the fact that I've gotten a lot of nice comments uh, from unintentional ASMR where they're like, man, man, your story about the post office helped me sleep. And I'm like, well, I don't have any more boring stories about the post office. <laughs> the post office, I mean, what what can you say about the post office? And I, I, just, I understand that you'd sleep after hearing about the post office for more than five minutes. <laughs> Maybe it's just the post office. I don't know. But uh, I guess uh, people like uh, hearing my voice. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, if you have any recommendations for either reaction videos or possibly uh, you want to hear more stories about uh, 
what it was like being overseas in the Navy during the mid 2000s. Um, I've got some boot camp stories. Those are pretty fun. I think maybe I can remember some of those that were pretty interesting. I can tell you about how I fucked up a few times in the military. That'd be pretty um, interesting, maybe. Um, but yeah, um, or if you just want to um, hear some, uh, ha- how about some lullabies? Actually, that that might be good. You know, if it if my voice helps you sleep at night and maybe puts you at ease, I, I could definitely do that. Uh, but yeah. That's, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this story, and I'll, I'll label it as such, uh, ASMR, um, <laughs> ASMR, my, my first night out in Greece. Hey, how about that? That's a, that's a good title for that. Or maybe you just like jacking off to the sound of my voice. That might also be a thing that probably some people have done before. I, w- I would assume that's a thing, because I have gotten a lot of um, DMs, by the way. Um, from people, not going to name names because I'm not a snitch. Uh, Don't worry, your names are safe. (laughs) Your names are safe. Uh, Because, I, like I said, I have done porn in the past, so I I, I know how it is. So so, uh, I I can't really uh, do that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, yeah. or if you want me to read like uh, your personal fan fictions that you've written, I can do that. And uh, that actually, w- you know, that's what I should do. You know, I should read Sonic fan fiction in my deep, ridiculous voice. That would be actually pretty funny. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, actually, I might do that tonight. That would be really cool. <laughs> Sonic fan fiction, read by Charlie Wilson, aka Sinister Charlie. Not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, comment down below, like, subscribe, skibbity scoop, do all that YouTube bullshit. Um, but I'm definitely open. I do read comments, um, so I would be more than willing to um, take on your ideas. Uh, I would. Uh, hey man, the more the merrier. That's what I say. Like I said. I would do this live streaming, but I can't. My internet sucks. I'm out in the middle of the Tucson desert, blah, blah, blah. Skippity scoop. So uh, definitely, uh, if this helps you sleep at night, some, you know. And uh, if you want me to read your your fan fiction, that would be pretty funny. I mean, they do it on Real Ass Podcast, and I love that show. So uh, thanks, guys, for listening. Um, stay, stay safe. It's Saturday night right now. Actually, it won't. Yeah, it's still Saturday night, Sunday morning soon. Uh, Stay safe and never be sorry. I'll uh, see you guys on the old flippity floop.